This is James Fox with another video tutorial for QuickBooks Pro 2013. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to record deposits from payments that you have received from your customers. Now, the first thing you need to make sure of is that your default deposit account is set to undeposited funds. So to do that, click on the Edit menu and then click Preferences. Click Payments in the left pane and then click Company Preference. In the Receive Payments section, Click Use Undeposited Funds as a Default Deposit to Account. Then click OK. Now QuickBooks must close all of the open windows to make this change. So click OK. Now I'm going to bring up the QuickBooks home page by clicking on the home icon. So now I'm going to receive payments from a couple of Joe's Landscaping's sample customers. So click on the Receive Payments icon on the QuickBooks home page. And I'm going to bring up one of Joe's Landscaping's sample customers, which is going to be Curly Company. And Curly Company has mailed in a check for invoice number one and invoice number two. So Joe's Landscaping received the check for $500. Now Joe's Landscaping has also received a check from another one of its customers, which is Huey Company for one of their outstanding invoices. So I need to save this payment and bring up Huey Company's outstanding invoices. So I'm going to click Save and New at the bottom. Now in the Received From field, I'm going to type in Huey Company. And here is Huey Company's outstanding invoices. I'm going to place a check mark in the far left column to indicate that a payment has been received for this invoice. Now those are the only two payments that Joe's Landscaping has received so far today. So click Save and Close at the bottom. Now it's time to record the deposits into Joe's Landscaping bank account. So we're going to record the deposits by clicking on the Record Deposits icon on the QuickBooks home page. Now since we're using the Undeposited Funds account as the default deposit to account, when you click on Record Deposits, you will see this Payments to Deposits screen. This gives you more control to select which payments are going to be deposited into your bank. So if I only wanted to deposit the $500 payment that was made by Curly Company, I can place a check mark in the far left column and then click OK. If I'm going to deposit both of the payments that were received, I would simply place an, another check mark in the same column for the payment that was received from Huey Company. But what if Huey Company asked Joe's Landscaping to hold the check for a week or so? Then we don't want to deposit that check right now. We only want to deposit the check that is going to clear the bank. So in this example, I'm going to select the payment that was received from Curly Company and then click OK at the bottom. Now if your company has more than one bank account that it's using for business, make sure you select the correct bank account for which the payments are going to be deposited into by clicking on the drop down arrow in the Deposit To field. Joe's Landscaping only has one bank account and that bank account has already been selected. Once you have verified that the deposit amount is correct and this is the amount that you're going to deposit into your bank, click Save and Close at the bottom. And that is how you record deposits that you have received from customers. If you have any questions, please send me an email. Once again, my name is James Fox, and I'll see you next time.